Hey love bugs, it's Riles, I'm back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. Um, and if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my grown extended beautiful family, as always, thank you so much for the love and support. It is truly appreciated. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light, and many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos for a while, I have not already, please drop a line. I would love a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. And um, the video I'm doing today is called Twin Flame 101. Uh, hey Oka's the rituals that brought revelations it's true because it's like um, I've seen a lot of people when I get visions of it I see a lot of people that are going through their own fire rituals you're going through moon moon rituals all these different things and then when I see it matter of fact it mind me um because it's like like i've been telling y'all been watching a lot of different movies it could be you know old school movies you know the gold the, you know the old the golden oldies and stuff like that and i was watching um it was crazy because it's just like right now there's a lot of things that's coming up where it's giving subliminals to you in so many different ways which is your line of revelations and when you're doing that there's so many different ways it's coming into you where you where it'll make you go aha it's making you connect the dots because a lot of things that you're going through would not make sense but when you're when you're facing a lot of things and you allow yourself to just really step back because a lot of times we can get we can take it personal you know you be ready to square up with god and you know universe and the guys and like look i'm, I'm tired of y'all doing this to me and it's like we're not doing this to you we're doing this for you you have to understand that be like touche touche you be rolling your eyes be like touche you know um and um uh, it would be a lot of different things and it was just like what was the other day i watched poltergeist the other side what was it yesterday it was yesterday no the day before yesterday and it was just like i remember this back in the 80s i was just like man and then you're seeing a shaman the guy i forgot what his name is god rest his soul because i know he passed away a few few i think it was like a year or two after he made that movie and um he was like doing the fire rituals you know with different shamans and you know and they're you know talking to the universe and it's just it's like crazy when i watched this when i was little it wasn't making sense to me but now when i'm watching it i'm like i'm blown away you know i was just talking about that the other day it's like when you can watch something or you can listen to something and, and you, your mind's closed off you know you you're not where you are now and then when you come back and you listen to it it has a whole new different meaning like you may read a book or something when you know you, your mind hasn't expanded towards you know outside the matrix outside the 3d you know you're going to 4d 5d you know a lot of us is hitting 60 you know and all those different things so it, it's just like when you're doing these things is, is revealing something within your life you know you had to be able to go through the toxicity you had to be able to go through the pain you're going through changes that are very, very uncomfortable you know you you know different things is being hidden to you god is being quiet he's teaching you know and when he you know got a lot of times to tell you god is being quiet he is doing something he is doing a lot of different things and you're you're seeing it through those life lessons that you're going through and a lot of times when you start isolating yourself you are really you know you're putting in that work because a lot of times it's like it, it gets hard when you don't want to be by yourself but a lot of times this is where you 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 lessen the distractions when you when you're focusing on yourself you know and it's not saying that people are in your life as a distraction but it takes away from what you need to learn about yourself and what you need to learn about yourself what you need to heal when it comes to yourself and these are the things you're working on do those hardships and you had to be able to understand that you you're placing patience in places where it's hard to have patience in so it's f making you focus on patience you have to place love into yourself to receive the love that you feel like you deserve now it's allowing yourself to know when you're trying to manifest something don't do the littlest things because it's just like a lot of times we ask for the most littlest things and god is like um uh, why um Y'all sorry. I don't say y'all ain't used to me seeing my, my natural hair and it's like my natural hair is <laughs> and it's just like all stringy in my face and I'm just like, oh what is that? And I'll keep on forgetting my little curls. But um 
you know, you're going through all these different things. It's like what hardship, you know, the hardship is strengthening you. It's giving you that endurance to be able to keep going, keep going, and go, keep going. Even when it feels like it is not manifesting for you, keep going. Keep being diligent to yourself. Keep being persistent. Keep being resilient. If you need to take a pause, you go ahead and do that. Self-reflect. Allow yourself to understand, okay, what was the mistakes that I was making? Or just understand, just, just taking my soul need out to have control of everything that's going on. We don't have control of that. The only thing we got control of is how we respond to different things or how we see things. That's it. You know, other than that, we have to be dealing, you know, you have to be able to deal your cards. You know, it'd be different things where you see where, you know, life is like, you know, a big card game. You know, it'd be different people in your life, you know, and it could have been different things. And sometimes, you you know, somebody may show their hand too soon. And you, it's just like when you see, you got to tell yourself, okay, you know, you may have been working on something. You're trying to understand Okay, you know, I was telling people, you know, I was so proud of this, you know, I got, I'm working on this project or, you know, this, this, this website or I've been working on this, you know, this, this fragrance or whatever. And you're really excited about it and you're trying to figure out why all of a sudden you like the lack of motivation or why things are not progressing for you because you don't realize, even though people in your life, then what do they say? Just because people in your circle don't mean they're in your corner. Because there's a lot of times people see something in you and, and they see that if you get that if you get that right help or whatever, you know, hey, <laughs> you know, they, they don't want that to happen for you. So they'll do everything in their power to make sure to stop. But then there'll be different times where you needed to go through that because then it shows you, hey, don't speak too soon on the things that you got going on. And, you know, it, it was just like, I remember, I, I think I made a video about that. Or I made a post about that a while back. And people are like, you know what, Rosalind, I've been learning about this. And it's like people, you know, when we, we can be in our prime, you know, or a little bit older. And we're like, dang, I'm just figuring that out. And they're telling you not to, not to fret that because you can be like 45, 50, you know, 75, you know, and you're still learning new things. You're never too old to learn life lessons through that. You're doing that through these experiences. And it's giving you those rituals. You know, right now there's a lot of things where you, you cracking codes. You understanding that aha moment. You know, um, you're connecting the dot, dots on different things that's taking place that's helping you grow. These are the different things that's going to take you to point A to point B. And you're going to understand, okay, this is the reason why it happened. This is the reason why these things are going. You know, allow myself to be hungry for it. Let me be aggressive with it. Even if things are not turning out the way I thought they was, it's going to turn out in the plan anyway if it's working for me. If I know I'm pushing out positivity, positivity is going to happen for me. If I know I'm pushing out negativity, negativity is always what's going to happen for me. And these are the different things I'm learning through that. Even when I'm pushing out negativity. You know, you had to be able to go through that. It's like, okay, well, you see where you went wrong at. And when you're allowing yourself to be teachable, you know, because a lot of times we don't want to be taught. We want, like, we want, we want the, the prize for the lesson, but we're not trying to be teached. And we have to be able to understand that this is how you're going about this. This is the things that you're needing to know. And when you're going through these different things, it's telling you, you know, if, if you're cutting out toxicity out of your life and you want that out, it's like anything is like, oh, my life is always filled with toxicity. I'm trying to, you know, let go of that. And when you're doing that, all this toxicity got to come up. And it's showing you, you know, through that. And it's just like I learned so much about that. And it had to be beneficial for me. Because there will be different times I got so mad about it. And now it's just like when I look back at the different things I caused in my life or I've had people cause in my life. You know, it was like, you know, I needed that. I needed that in my life, you know. It helped me become a better person because it showed me where I needed to be able to do. I can't, you know, because if I see certain things, it's like I got to that point where I don't want to be repetitive. You know, people understand the first time. And when you're allowing yourself to be able to do that, it's just like, okay, you know, um, I had to be able to learn those life lessons to be able to do that. And then when I did that, being able to allow myself to know I'm not going to go through that again. You know, they always tell you, you know, I had to be at that vibe where don't collect, keep being comfortable with collecting the red flags. That red flag, that first red flag is, you know, you had to be able to take and then be able to go make a move, make a move, you know, stick and move, move on to the next thing. And just being able to broaden your perspective on those different things. Uh, being able to understand, you know, it takes a lot of faith to be able to go through different things when you face a lot of struggle, hardship, spiritual warfare, you know, being able to hold faith and stuff like that. And it's just like, 
you have to be able to allow yourself to create a higher perspective of how we look at things. And a lot of times you, you know, I find out different things. Even when I make my videos, I'm, you know, I'm guided to say certain things. And it's just like, okay, you're saying certain things. Or it's just like, oh, certain things I shouldn't have said. And I'm like, okay, you can go ahead and reset, rewind, and go ahead and go back and do it again. And then you're learning. It's like, okay, what, did you see why we said you know not to do that or not to say that or whatever like okay yeah i get it because you're allowing yourself to you know you're working with the universe as you as they working for you you know it, it's a give and take situation you're understanding why certain things had to take place in your life you're understanding why certain karma and dharma had to take place into your life you're understanding why certain struggles have brought strength into your life what pain had purpose and then when you're doing those different things you're understanding the revelations of the rituals that you're doing because it's just like when i see it when i get the visions of it a lot of people are having dreams of fire rituals or you know you're going out and um even you it's just like a lot of time we don't even know we're doing walking rituals and you know and i feel like that i was like dad what's walking with rituals like when you go out in universe and you're just trying to clear your head that's a ritual you're doing you're doing that because there'll be different things that you'll see that's going on if you're into that vibration of where you're constantly negative and it's just like but you have to let go of that negativity we understand the things that's going on in your life we know better than you do we know further than you do you only know what you're facing right now but you don't know what we've been protecting you from what we've been guarding you from but also when we allowed it come in if we allowed it to come in it's teaching you in some kind of way and you're going through that so when you allowing yourself to even you know even they tell you to go you know go outside and talk to the universe at night go out to you know you know talk to them at di different times allow yourself to get in, in nature with the animals and stuff like that because everything is showing you you know because I, I see people walking in canyons i see people walking in the woods and stuff like that and you're doing these different things and so many you know, the leaves are talking to you the roots is talking to you the bugs is talking to you and i know that may sound crazy people's like all this stuff it is because you're you're learning you're soaking up everything as a sponge that's why a lot of times they tell us you know um to go out in nature i'm like shoot where i'll stay at it, it's like 180 degrees so i'm gonna have to go out at night because it is too hot during the daytime and where i'm at in the south that mess is dry and i'm like uh-uh i you know i used to love just sitting on the porch and you know just writing or just reading you know different things you know um to go back and read you know what i wrote or whatever and it's just understanding you know even the words that i was using the verbiage that i was using was like oh, okay i was in that vibe you know just like if you make a song and it could be a song where you're making where you know you were just angry at the world and stuff like that you, and if you know you're at peace and you're like oh yeah that was during the time i was going through a lot of hardship i was trying to make sense out of my own confusion into my life you know trying to bring you know clarity into my own chaos and i'm doing that through all those different things and you know we face a lot of stuff into our lives and a lot of times it's hard for us to be able to you know do this is just like with with my my videos my videos are like therapy to me you know, and there'll be different times people will say, you know what, Rosalind, you can really truly get me. And, you know, and that's a beautiful thing when, when you know you're not alone on facing the things that you're facing. And that's a relate, revelation. There's always, you know, we can complain about stuff. It was just like, I was, you know, just thinking about life the other day. You know, we'll think about life every day. And I seen this one lady on IG where she was cooking. I thought something happened. Like she had a seizure. I'm like, oh my God, what happened? But it was just like, you know, uh, I don't know what kind of uh, defliction she had, but it was like the way her body was moved. It, it was like her head, you would think her neck was broke, but that was, it was something that she was going through. And this woman was cutting up food and cooking and stuff like that. And I didn't know because I guess it's just the way the, the video glitched. I caught it right in the middle. I'm like, oh, whoa, she shouldn't be cooking. But then it was like when I went back and watched it again, I was like, oh, this is something she can't help. And I said, you know what? It'll allow you to know you don't know how good you have it until you see somebody that's, you know, that is really having something going on into their life. And they have, you can't help, you know, there may be certain things in your life you can't help. But there'll be certain things in your life we, we we take for granted and we can help. And then when you see something like that, this woman, I was like, you know what? I'm going to give so much prop to her. Because they'll say, knowing me, I would have been in a situation like that. I would have cut off a finger. Because, I mean, the way she was doing it, she was cooking up some, I mean, cutting up some celery. And she was just, you know, just working around different stuff. And I was just like, you know what? Let me allow myself to be grateful and repent, you know. And there was so many people that were saying it, dropping comments into that, that, you know, 
that they, you were doing that. And it's just, it, it, it just comes to that time where we take for granted a lot of different things. So we don't show gratitude because it's like life could be so much worse than it is. And those are the revelations you're getting. It could be so much worse. We can complain about the most pettiest things and it'll just show you, you know, in life, you know, your life could be like this. And you see this person that, you know, they're really going through a hardship, but they're not letting that hardship harden them. You know, but it, it, it's hardening them to have that strength, but it's not allowing them to stop what they know they need to do. And that's why a lot of times God will show you different stuff like that. And it will just, you know, because I said me, I was like, oh, well, I said I'm so sensitive towards things like that. And it will make me cry, you know, and then it will be just things like that where it's showing you these people have these situations where it, it can't be helped on what they're going through but it could be a different thing that could be going through to you and it could be this small and this person got this much going on in their life you know or it'll be take for instance i forgot where i seen this little boy and he had uh no limbs and this little boy i think he plays soccer or something like that i forgot it, it was something doing something very strenuous and it, it'll be just no i think he was working out every day or he was doing soccer and it was like his coach was telling him you know There'll be you. You can see how people make so many excuses up on not to do something. Oh, they're tired. They're this. They're this and this and that. And this man, this baby. When you see him, he was a little baby. You know, to me, because I think he was about twelve or thirteen years old, and he had no limbs. And it'll make you be like, I'm so ungrateful. I'm so lazy. It's just like, look how so many different things can really limit him. And he made he's showing he's unlimited. You ain't about to stop me because I don't have an arm or I don't have legs. I have none. And I'm still using whatever God gave me. You know, and it'll be so cute because he was over here, you know, he just kick it, you know, kick the uh, little ball and stuff like that. And that boy was moving. And I was just like, oh my God, it's so cute. But it, you know, it just, it brings joy to your heart. But then I'll make you pause and really reflect and, and just say, you know, there'll be different times we don't feel like doing nothing because we're depressed. It'll be different times. You know, it's like when you're going through a man of depressive, you're a man of depressive, it's hard for you to get out of that vibration and not want to get off the couch, not want to get out of the bed. You know, want to keep your pajamas on all day. If you, you know, if you really don't have to do anything, you don't want to do it. You don't force yourself to do it because we're so into that vibe. And a lot of times people feel like you can snap out of it and it's hard to do that, you know. But then it'll be different things that universe will bring into your life and say, you see this person. I mean, they could be sitting up here complaining about it because they have a reason to. You know, this boy could have been like, I don't have no limbs. And, you know, I see the people out here, you know, running or I see the people that's riding bikes or, you know, I see people that's driving cars and stuff. And I can't do that. And then you, when you see him, you know, these these type of people that got those afflictions or whatever you want to call it, less than or whatever, when it, when we we're capable, you know, and Universal show you, you see how this person is. He could have really let life fail him or her in that type of way and use that as a situation to not want to do anything but they use that as just the fact is because they don't want to be caught as a statistic because of the fact of that happening for them and that don't make you think and that's just like wow okay that was deep <laughs> you know and it'll be that way like wow that's deep you know and it's just like when I do my videos I freestyle off of that it'll be sometimes I even feel weird when I write stuff down but then it's just like if you want to make sure that you're telling somebody you know because there'll be certain things that I tell y'all it was just like the Corrine you know now I'm mad because there were different things I wrote on another page that I was supposed to I was like dang I didn't do it but it'll be just like okay if it's meant for you to come across that and talk about that again you know you can add that on to it you still got it written down somewhere and it would be just like I free flow with it. You know, if it will be different things. I maybe get my stuff together to go ahead and start my videos up. And then it was just like a, a certain, uh, you know, content come in. You know, because I'll tell you, I'll write down all my stuff, you know, and then just flow with it. You know, because there's so many people. We, we go through these different things. You're, you're trying to manifest all the stuff that you're trying to manifest in your life. And for you to manifest that, you're going to have to go through some things. And then when you're going through these things, there'll be some things that you're not going to like. <laughs> you know, there's going to be some things that you don't like. But this is like where they're telling you you're breaking chains. You know, we're, we're the ones that are breaking generational curses. And for that, it, it's not going to come easy for us. You know, it may be something that you, you'll notice that, um, like, 
it would be certain things you really didn't have to put in work in and boom, you had it. And it will be different things that you're you going to have to go through hell and high water to get to it. You know, there'll be so many different things that's going to go against you to make sure that that don't happen. But they're telling you, this is what you had to go through. These are the things to benefit. You know, even though it feel like it was, you know, others benefiting off of you or different things that was holding you back. But these are the things like we put this aggression into your life. We put some kind of resistance in there, some kind of challenge into your life to see how far, how, how much you really going to go through that. How much you gonna really go through to get to what we promised you or what we tell you this is gonna be your life and this and this and that. It made me think about another movie that came on the other day. It was like Terminator Three. I think it was like the Rise of the Machines. I don't know which one it was. It was just Arnold Schwarzenegger. You know, I'll still be thrown off with him. I was just like, man, this man was a whole governor. <laughs> you know, and he's up here still doing these crazy movies. But it was just like he was telling them, hey. This is how this is going to be in the year. Da, 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 da. And when you're going through these different things, we're going to have to, you know, it's like, how are you, you know, I'm not seeing this person. He's like, well, you two are going to be married and you two are going to be doing this. And it was like, wait a minute. I don't really know, know that person like that or whatever. I'm like, I'm not feeling them like that. It's like, look, we, we ain't got time for all this. You know, it, it's going to happen when it's going to happen. But this is what's going to happen. And it, it's like for this to happen, you're going to have to maneuver a lot of things. You're going to have to lose a lot of things. You're going to have to sacrifice a lot of things. There will be different things you're going to have to accept. Things that you're just going to have to take a loss for. And for those to happen, it's going to help you get to this manifestation. For this to happen, you had to be able to go through some kind of change. You had to go through a whole couple of challenges. You had to go through the hurt and the pain. You had to be able to be disappointed a lot of times. Your faith, your faith and your patience is really going to be challenged. The belief within the, within the universe, you know, within the circuits of the powers that be, you know, is really going to be challenged at this time. You're really going to be tested in all the ways. And this is showing you, you have truly studied. You have the answer in the palm of your hands. The truth is between you and me. You know, and you're going through these different things. So they're telling you the revelations are coming from the rituals that you do on an everyday basis. Whether it is working out, you're, you're strengthening your bodies in different ways. You're, 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 um, you know, even if you're trying to blow off some steam, you working out, you know, you're doing this. It's going to, you know, and you really going to create some muscles that you didn't have. You wake up the next day and you stiff, you sore like, oh, my God. You know, I, I remember I, I've done, you know, different workouts. And when I get out of bed, it, it just feel like a freight train. I'm like, oh, my God, it even hurts to breathe. It even hurts to blink. Like, oh, you know, and be that that way. And then you're you're doing that, you'll start noticing because a lot of times it'll be funny. When I, I seen a post the other day, it was like, "Why you did? What was this lady?" It was funny because <laughs> the lady was like, the husband asked, her, he was like, "Hey, babe, you seen the you know the different things? You see anything different?" And she's like, "Why are you trying to ask me that? You only been working out for three days, you know." And the way she said it, it's like, "I don't know why you ask. I don't see a difference. This in the same day it was the second day you asked me and the first day you asked me." You know, you, you keep going through it and you'll start noticing the change within yourself. Even with your situations that's going on, even though your circumstances aren't changing, your your circumstances is changing you. And then when we do that, we understand the revelations that we're receiving from the rituals that we do. So I hope you are able to resonate with the content of this video. I would love to give a post notification shout out to Anthony Pleasant, much love to you as well, and Dee Dee, much love to you as well. If you're new to the channel, please, it's good to, you know, be able to get to know you. Um, I leave all my contact, you know, information in the description box below, and as well as, um, you know, just being able to help out, you know, we're helping each other out. We don't realize that it's just like a tutor, tutor uh, stu student situation on the different things um we're helping each other heal we're helping each other rise above you know even when things don't even work out in between people you don't even realize that's helping you as well you know there's different things that we're learning just to be able to broaden that perspective and i love to be able to be a part of that just giving you a deeper understanding of your purpose you know um and being able to help out with that and it's like whatever we speak on is confidential you know um uh, if you're interested in podcasting also i share that on my community page i do podcasting as well 
Uh, and, you know, if you're ever interested in guiding, the, you know, do podcasting, please, I would love to be able to give you the insight on it because it's like the app that I use is so simple. You don't have to be, you know, downloading extra RSS feeds and all these different things. And it's just like the more you keep doing your, 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 your being consistent with your podcast, it's, you know, the, the app works for you. It's sending you all in these, you know, it's, it's putting you on so many different threads. On different podcast listening stations, so you know it's helping you expand, you know, um, ex- ex- expand your brand with yourself. You, you know yourself, you know so your currency. You know you gotta really know your currency, and you're building your currency within that. So you know I would love to be able to help out if you can. Um, and if you ever feel uh, generous enough to make a donation, that's also there as well. So. Um, I hope this was, uh, you were able to receive something from that. You know, I was just like, we were just at the sun, you know, the super moon the other day, but it's just like, we're going through a whole bunch of revelations. You're going through a lot of different things where you're cracking codes, you know, different things is coming in where you may see, you know, certain numbers is coming up all the time, or you, you know, you, you start noticing different things that you may be reading or, you know, see a, uh, a, a comment that's dropped in end up having like a timestamp of your birthday in it. Or different things is coming up or you know revelations on certain things that you may be going through and it, it, it can show you something from somewhere else in a point of view that's showing you to do this going on that you had to understand why certain things is taking place into your life so you know um, whatever energy you're needing uh, to be able to keep being persistent and consistent with yourself I'm sending that with you towards a million times fold for you because it's like you're working on something you're trying to bring into your fruition and it may be hard for you right now keep going keep going if you have to be able to take a break for a minute you do that but you get right back on that horse you don't care how many times that horse done bucked you off you and Mr. Ed need to go ahead and get back and be a spoon coons because you got to ride you got to keep on riding till the horses fall off into you know it's like you it's like your horse is gonna fall off yes your horse is gonna fall off y'all both gonna be there like that so um you know just keep going you know keep going it's like your blessings can happen at any day you know the devil stay busy maybe want you to give up today and they you know it could be coming up in tomorrow stay consistent and persistent with yourself no matter what your situation looks like keep staying persistent with yourself so I hope you are able to resonate with that. Even through social distancing, please make sure that, you know, um, that you give out towards other people. Love, light, towards uh, words, vibes, and frequencies. You never know. Those things can really help out people a long way. And it can even help you even further just because you took that time to do that, you know, and not expecting anything in return. So please be responsible and safe on your everyday needs. And I'm wishing you so much love, light, and abundance, peace, uh, longevity. All those different things. I'm pushing that out towards you. Because we all definitely need it. And um, much love to you. Namaste. Peace. God bless. Shalom. I say grand risings. And you'll see me on my next video. Much love to you. Peace.